Welcome back. And joining us now to talk about what happened in Washington this past week and where we go from here is Congressman Ro Khanna from the South Bay, East Bay. I've got to ask you, you worked, you worked your backside off getting to Washington. <laughs> What's it like now that you're there? Well, you know, it, part of it is exhilarating because people actually care who their member of Congress is. I mean, we had a thousand people show up uh, at our town hall. Obviously, I disagree with all, almost all of the president's agenda, uh, but it's a chance to, to make an, an impact. Okay, let's take a look at this past week. Democrats are claiming a victory over a split with the Republican Party. Why is this a victory? Well, it's a victory because there was a very bad bill that would have taken health care insurance and health care coverage away from 24 million Americans. No, that's stopping the defeat. Yes. I mean, a victory is a win where yes. we walk away. Is, can we keep Obamacare going the way it is going for, for another four or five years? But well, what I have said is that we need a single payer or Medicare for all because there's no question premiums have gone up. And the solution to that is to either have a public option at the very least or to have Medicare for all. Uh, 72 Democrats are on John Conyers' bill, single-payer bill. Uh, I hope the, that every Democrat gets on that bill. Now, if we go with single-payer, uh, this is an interesting aspect of American health care because we have taken American health care and we've gone, made it from a benefit to a right. Yes. And a benefit has limits, whether it's Social Security or unemployment, there's a certain much you get. Health care can be costly forever, and the cost can be astronomical. Can we craft a bill that takes care of everybody and keeps it affordable? We can because Medicare is working and we know it has very little administrative costs, 2% administrative costs. With the insurance companies, you got tons of administrative costs. But you know who the biggest proponent of a single payer system was? Uh, Donald Trump. In 2000, he wrote that a single payer system would be preferable uh, to the insurance we have and that the Canadian system is much better than our system. So my view is that the president ought to live up to his rhetoric if he wants more coverage, better benefits. The only way to do that is to work with folks like Senator Sanders okay. and others and, and get a single payer. Okay, if we go back to the two plans, as it stands right now with the Affordable Health Care Act, what is the biggest challenge or drawback to what we have right now? looking down the road. With the Affordable Care yeah. Act? I think the biggest challenge is we still don't have universal coverage. We're at about 90%. It was a huge step forward, and that's why it was really important to defend it. And the premiums, because we still, a lot of the money is going to uh, insurance companies. I'd rather it be going uh, to our government and that they, that they have a public option. Okay, what was the biggest problem with the Republicans' fix? Well, where do we start? I mean, here, they would have uh, basically had 24 million people, according to the Congressional Budget uh, Office, lose their insurance. It would have been a tax cut for insurance companies and executives, more tax cuts for people making over a million dollars in those companies. It would have actually been a tax on the elderly. They were going to increase the tax fivefold on people over 65. So I mean, it, was, it was an awful, awful bill. And so that's where what, do we go from here? Well, the way I see, both are both have problems, both right. and and where do we go from here? Is this just going to get shuffled off to the back while we start dealing with other things? Well, I think the the compromise that I think Senator Sanders has talked about. There's some of us who believe, look, let's have Medicare for all, uh, let's have a single payer. That's probably unrealistic in this Congress. But here's a, a compromise we can get around, which is a public option, which means you have all the uh, insurance companies, but you also have states uh, being able to offer a public option, and people can decide. Okay, wasn't that part of the original proposal on the American Health Care Act? And well, we, we didn't get the votes. You know why we didn't get the votes? One senator, uh, uh, Joe Lieberman, who didn't allow for Medicare to be extended from 65 to 55. Joe Lieberman is responsible for the uh, lack of uh, good me medical care for any of the problems. The president wanted to do it, and uh, you know people can, can look at the history. Okay, so what's next? Where do we go from here? Health care, that's probably going back to the back. What's going to be the next front burner issue we're going to be hearing about? Well, my view is it should be jobs. Uh, and uh, I've, I've said the president who spent his reputation on The Apprentice uh. ought to be funding apprenticeship programs. How do we get uh, do you think it would have been smarter for him to start with an infrastructure and job package? I do. I do. Because uh, now it has to be the right infrastructure, but who doesn't want to build our bridges and airports and have broadband? And, uh, and that's something that people, people want jobs in this country, in my district, around, around the country. So possibly if he had led with that, we would have seen that as well. And that's where you think we'll go next? 
Uh, I don't know, because what he's talking about is tax cuts, which is crazy to me. He wants uh, $3 trillion of tax cuts for those who are doing extraordinarily well. Those aren't the people who voted for him. The people who are voting for him are uh, facing stagnant wages, uh, working class families. They want jobs. They want help for uh, their uh, economic future. And we're not talking about them. Well, it'll be round two. I want to thank you for joining us. Appreciate I'm hoping it. you're having a good time jetting back and forth and listening to it all. Julie, if he's out in his district today talking with voters, what's he going to be seeing? Uh, so right now, heading home right now, Ro, uh, you should be okay. But later on today, you're likely going to see some showers in the south. Bay as well. Take a look here. Uh, San Francisco, we are seeing some light.